Hey, what's going on guys? DJ Hess here, CollectiveKicks.com. I wanted to bring you guys my recap video for uh, my January pickups. If you guys like this series and you guys want it to continue, please give the video a thumbs up, show your support. Uh, but let's go ahead and get into it. Started off the month a little bit strong, went to uh, the Nike employee store, got some Nike uh, pickups. Um, these three pickups in particular, the Christmas KD uh, 8s, and I love the inside print on these. They're super sick. And then the outside, I did an on-foot video of those. And then of these as well, the Hirachi Premiums. And this has that kind of rubberized toe box. Super crazy. These are on Nike clearance right now, actually, uh, for a pretty decent price online. I'll put a link in the description uh, for you guys to check those out on Nike. But the Nike clearance actually is going on right now, that it, um, which is pretty good in general. Uh, all white Roshi runs, triple whites, um, as you can see here. And just one of these ones that I was like, yeah, I might as well get a pair of those. Um, and then uh, ended up getting... A pair of these, I've shown you guys these and a couple other ones. I did a picture of these with the white. I have a pair that's black and white, and then I have uh, the Ultra Boosts that are uh, that are all black and then um, black and white as well. So, But the Blackout um, Prestos, these things are amazing, and these ones are another one of those ones that are a sleeper, and like these ones are in stock. They're not hard to, to pick up, and definitely a dope one, uh, in my opinion. Um, moving on, I ended up getting the Friends and Family Low Curry 1s, and this is no particular order. Uh, but definitely a cool one, uh, 2015 MVP on the tongue right there. Really dope shoe. You can find these on eBay for a really good price too, uh, for all, almost close to retail, which is a pretty, uh, pretty good price if you ask me. Moving on, ended up getting these from OT Dub, some Van Low Tops. Uh, you can see just a classic pair of Vans, and I did an unboxing of these. And then Franelation sent me the Sandal Boys uh, sandals, as you can see right here with the Sandal Boys logo. Uh, across right here and on the back area right there uh, pretty dope looking sandals right here um, and let's see I'm gonna keep it rolling and let's uh, grab a couple more pairs I ended up getting a handful of pairs gifted to me from Saucony uh, these ones have worn um, and I really like these ones the color of these ones are dope and the materials are are not super crazy nice but like but I, I like the uh, the kind of the nylon materials on these instead of suede uh, so definitely a cool shoe and those ones are um, the shadow, I think five thousands got another pair of shadow originals. I've worn these as well, um, to work and stuff. Really dope shoe. Uh, those ones turned some heads actually at work there for some reason, those ones out of all of them. I also wore these on the release day. These ones are available now. Link in the description for these, the peanut butter and jelly grids, uh, really dope shoe and just kind of a, a kind of a loud colorway, but it's played together really well, uh, with the, the peanut butter, uh, peanut butter and the jelly and whatnot on the theme. So pretty cool. Um, a pair as well, and then I also got these ones, um, some some grids, uh, eight thousands as you can see right here on the tongue, and these ones do have that premium suede, and I've worn actually all four of these this last month. Um, I did have a fifth pair, and I ended up giving it to a buddy of mine uh, that came over and saw my house, and uh, I just I figured I'd share the love with the Saucony love since I got so many of them, and I figured um, he would like uh, the pair it was black and uh, gray um, colorway for those. This is a pair of Flying It Racers that I got for $68. So price point was super cheap on these. And I blacked out the midsoles because they, they looked orange um, like the Flywire here. And I didn't really like the orange and white um, bottom like this. So I did the blackout. But um, you'll see a, um, a video of these pretty soon of the, uh, the sole swap uh, with the Boost, the Ultra Boost bottoms on these. Definitely a crazy video that I ended up doing that, but it was one of those ones I wanted to just give it a try, and so I did. I was like, might as well do it. So, uh, but I really liked th th those ones anyway. But for sixty-eight dollars, it wasn't too much of a loss to customize them if it didn't turn out the way I wanted. Um, moving on, a pair of uh, another pair of sneakers that I customized the uh, the Ultra Boost STs, and you can see in the back it says Ultra Boost right here. These things are actually really dope. Um, I I ended up. Going to Rope Lace Supply and getting some Ultra Boost laces on here, and the re uh, reflective laces. And um, you can see I like, kind of have a little bit of extra stitching right here I could have taken off. But all in all, these things are dope. And uh, the stitching, or the, this uh, reflective stuff back here kind of matches the laces. But I really like these STs probably better than the regular Ultra Boost because it actually has a real tongue. It's not one that's um, all the way around. And it's like the regular ones are a little too snug. This is like super, super fresh for me. And I, this is the way I wear them with the laces like this. But I've worn these a ton since I've got them because uh, they are so comfortable and perfect for work. Really easy to, to uh, wear to work. Show you guys the last couple of things here. All right, so we have the Air Force One um, Nike Labs, and these are the uh, the uh, the Vachetta Tan ones. Uh, I love the the soles on these, 
and the leather on these are really crazy nice uh, leather lined and this is a colorway that was lost super hyped up and sold out but all the other colorways are still available including the black upper with a white midsole as well as like the white and they had a red one uh, and it looks like this midsole is like leather lined as well leather wrapped which is kind of crazy uh, it's not just uh, painted so definitely a cool uh, pair of Nike labs and they have some low tops too and some other colorways um, definitely one that I was happy that I ended up picking up uh, that I ended up getting which was the HTM as you can see on the back uh, Kobe's and this one has the crazy laces on them or the, the I kept calling these lace locks but you guys know what I mean aglets uh, or whatever but I don't know why I kept calling them lace locks in, in the uh, on feet in the unboxing video people kept correcting me they're like what the heck has but uh the fly knit on these are super crazy and um I mean it's it's the same fly knit as on the elites and I do have an elite pair as well like an air mag kind of theme on those ones and then the last two um that I have so I did have uh, just a, a heads up I did have the complex or the complex did I say complex I had the, the concepts um air trainers and I just ended up selling them uh for the price points uh, I ended up making a little bit of money on them but uh, it was just one of those ones where I was like, you know what, they're kind of crazy. They're kind of dope, but at the same time, they're kind of crazy. And um, at that point, I was like, you know what, I might as well make a teeny bit of, uh, of money off of them. So I did sell them. Uh, but that is kind of like the, I mean, this is kind of the end of the month. You can see what I'm left over with. Some of the stuff I keep, some of it I don't. And really, honestly, the way I should be doing this is one in, one out. I have so many pairs of sneakers. If I buy another pair, I should be selling a pair uh, just to try to maintain instead of overwhelm myself with more and more sneakers. Um, but that's, that's just kind of the way it is. Um, anyway, this is a pair that I ended up Nike IDing, my Kyrie twos. And this is the, um, it looks like a Superman theme. It looks like a, an alternate, um, Cavs theme, but really this, the idea of this theme was the, uh, Dornbecker six Jordan theme. Um, and you can see it says number one on the inside and it says Jordan and the other one says dark. Um, number one, even, even though it says number two on the back, I know it's kind of dumb because on the Jordan one, there's a number one on the back, uh, but I couldn't get that removed. Maybe I can get a, uh, um, Herb Juice to do a uh, sticker back here or, uh, you know what I mean? A patch like he always does for me, but, uh, really dope. I really like the way that these came out, regardless of whatever you think the theme is. Um, and, uh, this is one that inspired me and it got me thinking, I was like, you know what? I really need to add the Dornbecker sixes to the collection and then all of a sudden, bam, it happened. And I made this um, happen this this last um, uh, month. And even though this was the most expensive shoe, as you guys already know, that I've purchased, uh, you can see the theme. Um, and the theme comes out a little bit better. Some people are like, oh, you should have used red on the midsole. But I used red speckles and the gold accents. There wasn't too many. So I really want that gold foil to stand out since the low liner was gold on it. So I know it's kind of um, reversed the way the gold and the red hits, but... All in all, everything together, I think, looks well together. But um, there's the soles. Yes, they're yellowed soles, but I don't mind that at all. I'm just really glad to get an authentic pair. And um, you can see the, the baseball stitching and stuff is really nice on this pair right here. But uh, really happy that I was able to get a pair of DB6s. And uh, this month was definitely... I'll move this down and over. Uh, this month def definitely was a uh, good month, an expensive month, but one uh, to be remembered. And that's pretty much the way the pickups went. Uh, this month what do you guys think um kind of uh, obsessive a little bit yes but it's kind of what i've uh done uh, with or without youtube just i really like sneakers and figured i'd share you guys uh, the ones that i ended up getting uh this month hopefully you guys enjoyed and uh we'll catch you guys for some more videos soon peace guys